but what I am really excited to see is Gratisfaction and how he approaches this map on the AWP. Ooh, that aggression from Monks though. Working out perfectly. Gratisfaction on the other side with Dio. Good for one, but Bird from Sky is ready. And we loved Cash. Just saying. Just putting it out there. I mean, it was a really good map for him, but I mean, this this map is just so different altogether. It's similar, but different in the exact same way. Yeah. Gratisfaction finds a nice kill onto Bird from Sky. All of a sudden, Yenzi left in the post plant position Ooh. oh yeah as he runs out of bullets he is very low as well yenzi swapping over it now to the pistol spamming through the smoke won't be able to connect it will take him down and just in the nick it's have to be the difference maker i love the fact that extreme are really proactive in the way that they're trying to approach it they're being really aggressive but gratisfaction unfortunately for him the deagles we surely know how dangerous they could be but by the looks of it that is going to check for that oh it's gonna grant Lias one kill though. So this makes it a possibility. And Azer, he's gonna be able to pick up the AWP on top of that kill. So now Rawls and Yancy, they need to be careful about him as well. Yeah, and the awkward part about this bomb site Ooh. is you can't really get a bomb plant. Surely there's no chance of a plant in the round. Yeah, that's perfect movement from Ben's head. Just just a second ago. Whatever you like to call it as the nade. Oh, that's a lot of damage onto Manx. And I don't know if Manx would want to walk through this smoke. Ooh. Daffodil with a really nice recovery onto Azar and Birth from Sky is gonna follow up. Bent head going down. Now this is gonna open up the round for the side of Lingby. They find themselves in the man advantage. And Jacob, he's all alone. Lias goes for the push and finds a crucial kill for the round. They absolutely needed that. And now it's Jacob's turn. But he will have to fall back. Timing is everything. Oh, he got spotted. They know exactly where he is, Jacob. If he gets a kill out of here, that's a miracle. And he's gonna go for the white peak. But the swing doesn't work out. Gratisfaction, though, has already rotated. Is he ready for the second player with the AWP? Oh, a missed shot. And Ross is gonna fall through the smoke. And now Yancy he has to clutch it. The one versus two goes for the bomb plant. He's gonna stick it. Has the AWP there. Just gonna double push him. The no scope plants. But Lias is ready. For the refrag, seven on the board for Extreme and Lingby continue to struggle. Yeah, they really continue to struggle there. The double push notice that it is because Lingby are just solely focused on going towards B. I love this switch of pace here though. They're gonna rush out towards mid, and this is what they need. But a TK from Bird from Sky actually doesn't turn out too bad. A 3v3, it could have been a lot worse. The Bird from Sky gets the TK and goes down there. That's the round pretty much over. They still have a chance, but Bird from Sky is very low. And look at this from Grass Faction. No way they're ready for it. Yeah, he's gonna pick up the first pause, the second. Ooh, Gratisfaction actually over aggresses. This might be their biggest chance of winning around so far. Of course, despite of their one. And ENC. He's gonna go for the standard after plant. Just pushes into cave and probably he's gonna go towards lane and main. Decides not to be so aggressive though. And this might actually cost his teammate, but Dafu with a really crucial kill. Leaving Bented in the one versus two, and this should be just impossible, even for Bented, even though he's been having a hell of a performance. Although he is playing inside of the smoke, but Dafu aware of the possibility. It looks like the execute is gonna come in, and Lias is gonna have to be ready. Oh, the flashes are absolutely perfect. Azar needs to step up though, finds one Lias with the double, and this round has fallen apart once again for the Lingby Vikings. Yancy with the AWP needs to find an opening. Of course, he is waiting for Ralls to try and do something from middle. Yancy is gonna find one, but Ralls falling in the meantime. 15 seconds, the rotations are coming in. Benta would need to be careful. They're probably just gonna wait for a plant. The flash comes over. Lias will go down. Oh, another missed shot. Nice try by Yancy, but it was always gonna be a 12-2 scoreline. And Lingby, even if they do get this third round, I don't think there's a way back from them. I think it's already over. They pushed out towards A. Lias with the op, and he actually swaps over to the AK to get the second kill. So he's wielding both weapons in this round. He's already found a double. The Molly's going to force Yenzi out, and Azar will gobble him off. And now, what did they do here? They boost on top of the box to see over it, hope for a few USP shots, but they're going to have to play a 5v5 retake. Extreme need to get into good post plants. Yeah, but 
they have a re-smoke for a CT, so now Extreme they can focus on Cave. Lingby, they need to they need to send three players going out from the same little room, and that's not gonna go well. But Rawls finds a double. Yancy with one more event is still alive though. And Jacob is kicking ass once again. The two versus two, leaving the one versus two. Jacob going down, Rawls with the 4k and with the round. And well, Rawls he was on 3k before this round, now he's on seven. I think Extreme were just surprised more than I. Maybe, maybe he has like different different crafts for this every single timing. Yeah, but they have no idea. Oh. oh, they have no idea. The timing was perfect. Gratisfaction picks up one, manages to swing towards CT, but Dapu with a massive 3k is gonna save the round. And now Gratisfaction, yeah, you're you're just dead. Living Bented in the one versus four, but that was a really that was a really cool kill. The thing is that they didn't even invest everything, so uh, Extreme aren't gonna be too upset about it. If Bented manages to get maybe one or two more kills, that's gonna be perfect. Just doing damage to the economy. Bented. Okay, Yancy is gonna take care of him. Thirteen friend over. Extreme have already won it, and the game is already over. Dafu just keeping them alive, but they're gonna need to start this one off well. Azer and JKM with a lovely double to start things off. We see Burr from Sky sitting in the smoke. He's trying to play around it. Azer should find this. Gets dinked up for his trouble, but finds the kill. And I mean, it's oh. all one-way traffic, Ted. It's Extreme I'm absolutely dominating on the first gun round, and Yancy falls oh, too. My. How about that? The pride of Poland, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine Indonesian guys just being like, what? The pride of who? Oh, let's see if the pride of Poland is going to be able to close out this round as Elias is going to get one gratisfaction with the follow-up. This should be as good as over. The final nail in the coffin of Lingby Vikings. They will have a tough task in front of them going into map number two with a one map disadvantage, getting absolutely destroyed in the nick of time. Just a 30 minute map on their map choice of ancient. Yancy, the one man standing, he is gonna fall any moment now. 16 4 as we go into a short break, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna be right back in just a couple of minutes to see if Link B Vikings will be able to bounce back. Link B Vikings and Extremum's map number two. It's gonna be new. Ancient went in favor of Extremum. Let's go. Yeah, let's get underway. Two quick kills now. As Bear from Sky, he's gonna fall down to two now. Want to fight a hole in the defense. There's no one towards that B bomb side, so it's gonna at least give them another bomb plant. Bomb has been planted. Bent head still from the back of the side. Looking for peaks. Of course, Lingby are waiting for the double push from Single Door and Ben said he's gonna get tested any moment now. He's gonna hear that open. He's just, just gonna go down, leaving Kazar in the one versus three. The stick is there, but Azer with this dink is gonna stop the defuse. And now the one versus three, but Ross is gonna take him down. Azer not quite able to finish off the kill onto Burr from Sky, and that's gonna be Lingby Vikings taking the lead for the first time in the season, like three, four, maybe five before they get even one that's gonna kind of help you out to establish some dominance here rouse though left completely alone the timing was really bad on this rotation from bird from sky it's gonna give his teammate the chance to get a kill but get traded immediately yancy though following up onto lias to the man advantage and azar and bed set have been tagged around the 60 HP mark. Gratisfaction might not be aware of the position for Max, and indeed he's not. That's the bomb as well. Max is gonna double up. Bent it finally, finding the refrag damage, and maybe get a bomb plant here. It would be good. He taps the bomb, and now it kind of gives it away. If he would have stuck it, he might have got it off. Actually, he's still gonna get the bomb plant off, so it is okay for money. And now he just has to find a few more kills. There's a double Yenzi able to get the trade, but the damage is done. Yenzi, the only man left alive. Lingby are going to win the round, yes. But I'm... Oh. I mean, I'm not going to be too surprised if we see Extreme and go for another force here. Yeah, surely, surely they go for the force. You get four kills, you get the bomb down, of course. They're couldn't get them. Ling may only survive with two. And well, now let's see what Extreme can do with their AKs as they look to go into lobby early on. And there's a lovely kill through the smoke to start us off. A nice opening there from the Extreme side. Lias now trying to make his way out of the smoke. The flash is absolutely perfect. Lias is gonna have a free kill. Goes for the double. What a triple entry from Lias in this round. It's all on him and the beautiful flash. 
this flash was sick both of them just completely blind no chance to hang on to the rifles they're gonna have to that's a good adjustment after extreme and with a disappointing start so far ben tet walks right in actually wins that duel so Ral's maybe falling asleep a little bit on the angle down to 4 hp ben tet goes yenzi will at least have the op but map presence despite a one player being towards outside the nc though needs to be careful there's the flash there's the peak and he's gonna miss the shot that's gonna cost him that's what good it won't force riles back but it will just obscure his vision a little bit burn sky in a lovely position here with a flank though riles finding the headshot burn from sky will find a second kill as well dafu with one more and it's all falling apart here for extreme and manx in a great position to take down jacob and the force work. reaction from ling the viking uh, reeling the vikings is gonna be messed out my tongue there you know don't don't forget to drink your water guys don't forget to drink your water it happens Ted. it happens to it happens yeah. to the best of us yeah we just need to hydrate ourselves and uh extremum they're gonna be able to and still waiting out for the utility but extremum they saved up so many molotovs the counter flashes as well they're slowing this down as much as possible look at that they just can't start a retake but the kills are gonna come through benton with a double max with one more max is gonna triple it up and that should be the round going on they have a defuse kit in ross he has more than enough time link the vikings make it work even though benton did his best to dent off the angle picks up the Digo and actually goes for the repeak rouse is being so aggressive here but he's finally gonna get punished by ben ted and this might cost his team yes he now looking for the van drop he's already rotated down towards the b bomb side playing behind the double doors just checking in waiting for the sound cues he's gonna hear all of that happening towards the bomb side does he go though there's only 10 seconds on the clock if they go now they might deny the plot and stop the round the nc dropping gazer but it's a bit too late jacob with a double and a huge double as well max and burr from sky left in the clutch max is gonna make it a 2v2 equal stamps now as max nearly takes down the ass as well Still the 2v2 bird from Sky tries to go for the wall bang going down towards double does he get a fight against Ben Ted? he does but he loses it same for Max investment if they lose this one they're on another reset and you know how this one goes on so extreme I'm on the edge of leveling things up but Dafu doesn't think like this is gonna happen goes with a massive double kill Max with one more Ben Ted with only one to strike back and now Azar and Gratis faction with all to do spam through the smokes just in the middle of nowhere between every single link B player the flashes are absolutely perfect yes he with another and gratis faction well unless he goes full simple mode here that's gonna be it he is very very strong in these ct scenarios and well Zafu going for a little bit of spam and once again i mean lee has through that smoke he has that lineup down to a t uh, i mean how many times have we seen that already last time he got that kill he got a double entry then after it towards this a site from a flash this time not so lucky Max his own his own the awp is gonna be really risky for him to go for the beak the flashes are perfect rouse should go down somehow gets a kill that's a miracle from him and he makes it doable for his teammates the three versus three jacob though up close going for the sound cues the flash in the oh. from Yancy. he doesn't want to go down the three versus two azur and gratis faction now and azur not good enough gratis faction in the clutch two of them are really tagged but he will have to isolate these one versus ones there's number one needs two more there's the flash towards door. Gratis faction is gonna land a head chop. Does he go for the white peak? Baits out the shot, goes for the peak. And what a clutch. Here on this pistol. As we're looking for the tabs, Bented on the CZ. He's gonna come thralls down. As we're now is gonna help him out. So the first two kills going in favor of Extreme. Oh, Max finally. Is gonna punish that CZ. Gratis faction needs to be careful. Yes, he's gonna take down Azur. This could easily be lost from Extremum. And it might just be it. Oh, Jacob. Tag down to 25. Spots them cross, but that's not gonna help him out a lot. That was a 5 versus 3. Now to the 2 versus 3. For Extremum. Jacob and Lias. And Lias, he needs to step up. He needs to land the taps. Doesn't quite managed to do so just yet and look at that they're just not gonna peek they're gonna play on the contact of each other that's just impossible for Lias to win yeah i mean it's just they will 
Of course, the pistols, the heavy task in front of them is going to be to just try and do some damage. Not going to be too sad if you lose this one. Oh, that's a nice thing there. Lias is going to finish off this kill. He's been actually looking really crisp on the pistols. A minute left on the clock. They're going to make their way down. But surely once Lingby see this, they just turn and run the other way, right? Oh no, into the blender. Azer with a double looking for Yenzi. Lucky to get out of there alive. He's 22 HP. Well, 40 seconds now left. Azer, he has picked up a Galil. Yenzi just holding very, very passive. But if he goes down, that's pretty much the round over. Manx is nowhere near. He's towards Hell Benta watching the cross here. As Yenzi makes his way forward, he goes down. The bomb dropped, and surely that's the round. Yeah, surely that is the round. Manx in the one versus three, and you know the eco hurts. The eco hurts the most. Manx deploys the smoke, tries to go for the one v one. He's actually gonna find one, finds a second, and with only ten seconds, he's gonna make his way down towards the B bomb side. He has more than enough time to go for the bomb plant. Ben said, going on the hunt, knowing that there's not enough time. Ben said, he's just going to try and chase him down. Going for the fight. And oh, Ben said, is going to be able to close it out in the end. But that was such a nice attempt from Manx. Yeah, I mean, he tried his best. He got the two kills. But, I mean, extreme and very well played. What a fantastic call. I mean, they get the first kill. I believe you figure out what's going on and go back towards A. And they probably win the round. They don't do that. They lose it. Burr from Sky. Tagged down very low. We'll get down the vent. But Riles has found an entry elsewhere. Lias looking to fight back. Tagged down to 33 though. Is gonna fall back to safety. Azur finally taking out Burr from Sky. No. Okay. Riles. Doubling up on the deal. Looking for number three. Benta though. Is gonna take him down. And he's gonna get a double on his own. Yancy with one more Benta. Trying to save the day. Doesn't want to get caught into an awkward fight. Down to one HP. He just needs to stay alive now. Just to make it equal for himself and Liaz. There's the flash. There's the peak. Benton. Unfortunately for him. Blinding himself. And Dapu is going to take down Liaz. That's really... Look at this angle here from Gratisfaction. Wants to be careful. Lovely shot onto Dapu. Gives his team the advantage when they needed it most. But Lingby... They look to make their way in towards A here. Manx drops Leas Jacob peeking out, and he will get a double. They did not clear him out towards Garage, and, well, he's going to punish you if you don't. Yenzi looking around. Manx, I believe, has been heard. So Heaven is being watched, and rather, or rather oh, yeah. L is being watched, and Azur. This, uh, this map, so... I really feel like they might be on the edge of closing it out. Still, though, Extreme aren't a team to be written off, and Jacob... Playing around the one way is going to find a kill. But look at this position for Manx. They might not be aware of it. He's going to get a free kill. Oh, nearly the second. That would have been the map. If he got that kill onto Azur. But the timing. The breaks again. They just slow down. Yeah, they're being very patient here. And I love it. They're waiting for the mistake to be made. But it... Extreme, they're not going to make it. Liaz gets that kill onto Riles. Now that Ren is thrown up in the air. Gratisfaction finds Dafu. And surely that's an 11 for Extreme. Uh, Lingby, they tried their best there to be as patient as possible. Liaz is going to be caught out by Yenzi at least. But 10 seconds, surely not. He goes for the save here. Extreme will survive for at least another round on Nuke. I think he was looking for an AWP to save because now the only the only option of having that smoke and well Ralz he gets down towards B. There is already a player down there, I believe it is. Jacob. But Gratisfaction falls. Now that's the entry gathered. Lingby can really do what they want here. And don't be very surprised if we see them just hold and get passive but Liaz is going to make a mistake this time and now extreme we're down to three surely this should be it unless we see some heroics oh and Ben said he does heroics Azur with one as well and Dafu he's gonna close it out 22 HP but it's enough Lingby Vikings with the reverse sweep they managed to win new over Welcome, 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 welcome back, back ladies, ladies and gentlemen, with the Spring Sweet Spring and the final map in the saga between Lingby Vikings and Extreme. A map number one on Ancient going in. And they will have to go for a four versus five retake without a diffuse kit, which is kind of not what you want. Bented again on the CZ, by the way. It, it kind of feels like he loves playing the CZ on pistol rounds. 
that's yeah, and, that's a pretty interesting decision yeah you can see why as well like he is very very good in the last map but right now he's going to be up against it trying to make it work yenzy bird from sky will lock it down and cz yeah you know the not like the gloves the pistol is really sick as well there's has the support of rouse actually so this might be a pretty decent split attempt from the link beside and now Lias fully flashed oh he's not looking for it the timing is really bad for Elias and he is gonna fall. Now Bent Ed with all to do towards this B-bomb site. Bro from Sky has already gotten himself into CT spawn. So that's gonna cut off the rotations. Bent Ed, he needs to step up. Spots one of the players. Tries to isolate the fight. And actually Max is all alone. They've left. They're going elsewhere. Such a nice play from Link B Vikings. Extreme on there just out of idea on what's happening. They don't know where to go. The bomb is now going once again back towards B. Hazard doesn't know where to look. What a chaotic round, but Lingby Vikings, they make it work in the best possible way. That's just the time and found by Bird from Sky to drop Liaz, really to open things up. Yo, there's three players stacked in from Extremum towards that B-bomb side. This is going to be such a tough take. Max just walking in. It's a stack bomb side. You get one, but there's the double peak straight after. Azur and Bented are going to finish it off. Dapu once again left in the one versus four but this time that lingby definitely still not out just yet and a good long way back for extremum so far gratisfaction oh misses a shot and jacob is gonna fall gratisfaction allows the second but it doesn't really matter he's went down and so has azur and this is the safe go at this point bented and Liaz, there is nothing that you can do in this round lingby vikings make it six and you know that's way too many times that gratisfaction has been called just out of position you get one even that's the base base case possible you get one kill uh, short for them that's a, that's a nice crossfire that they have right there that's a nice crossfire for extreme a good way to take ramp control and vented is gonna take down burr from sky although he's gonna get traded one for one and now Liaz is put under a lot of pressure. He needs someone to cover at least middle for him. The flash is perfect. And oh, Liaz, he needs to be careful. Gets a ding, but gets the kill onto Max. That was a crucial. We can do it for him. Gratisfaction. He just needs to stay alive at this point. Just tuck in. Stay alive. Maybe do some oh. noise. And Jacob, what a crucial kill that is. Gratisfaction, though. Going for the spam. He might get caught off guard, but Jacob is going to double up and double down. There's the old kill. And there's the... Passive towards A. We see the bomb on Raz. He's just going to be holding just from behind the bridge area. He's making noise, dropping the bomb, trying to fake out the presence. But they're going to walk towards B. Manx gets the first kill. Liaz with a lot of damage done to Burr from Sky as well as a kill of his own. Bente has fallen. Oh. Liaz gets that kill onto Manx. What? Ooh. Shooting through walls, this man. He doesn't care. Liaz, he's going to triple up. Three for him. Boom. We'll go down. But he might have done more than enough. And with this damage onto Burr from Sky, he's low on HP. Jacob is going to take him down. The kill from Gratisfaction. What a nuclear round from Liaz that was. That was phenomenal. Uh, yeah. I want to see a replay of that 3k. I mean, Lingby, they change up their approach and they make their way and try and take ramp control. It's going to be contested. The flashes are good. Oh, they're all there. Oh. they with a triple oh. and a quad. Oh, Ooh. lovely 4k. Going for the reload. 9 HP. Go for the ace, Azar. Sure, why not? You spotted Manx doing the damage. Uh, 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 Manx. I just don't want us to see an ace. That was absolutely beautiful from Azar. What a play from the IGL. If we were criticizing him on Nuke that he doesn't... But he will surely have a chance. He's been tagged down to 28. Managed to make his way out of there, actually. But with 15 seconds, he's just going to get double P. Gratisfied. A bounce back from him. Yeah. And now, Bente, he's going to be called into action with this up early on for a shot onto Manx. Tries to retreat and will be able to do so. Nobody is going to be able to get a refrag from the side. The rotations have come in. The util is going to be dumped. Jacob getting that kill onto Rouse towards A. He was really the lurk here as Dafu gets up towards Plat. And Lingby, it looks like they're going to have to commit here because they have no map control anywhere else. Ooh. If they want to go, they are going to have to do it the hard way and extreme them. They are already set up perfectly to deal with it. Absolutely. As are even thinking about going for a peek with the flash and it's going to ground him a kill. There's the double. Does he get a third hazard? The game leader for the second round in the row. He wants it. He's hunting for it. He is going to find it. The 
side and they're only seven rounds away from knocking Lingby out of the spring sweet spring and qualifying for the playoffs Manx has other ideas though as he starts things off with a nice kill onto Jacob the flash beat comes in looking for some more but it is going to be traded out into a 4v4 rotates coming in a fight on the B site will ensue from Sky looking for the heads connects only on to one Azer and Lee Azer gonna follow up gratisfaction as well and that's gonna leave Yancy in a one versus three clutch the bomb yet to be retrieved and yet to get planted and oh that was a crisp one tap from Yancy but their last chance so they're not just gonna be running in throwing there against at extremum Oh, aggressive play here out of gratisfaction gets a first it's going to be traded back rotation now from Lingby they try and get as many players on the A site as possible but it's Jacob with a double and Manx and Yenzi now have to defend alone the damage done onto Jacob and he will be finished off by the nade so that's a lot more favorable now for Lingby but I mean are extreme I'm going to be expecting Manx in this position I'm not too sure no oh. Well, they weren't, but Manx whiffs the first shots, and that's gonna leave NC in the one versus two. All to do. This is the map, and potentially the game on his shoulders. And NC, he's gonna pick up one. Now needs to find only Lias. The one versus two. This is for the map. This is for everything. He needs to clutch it. They've lost four players at this point, and Lias, he's not gonna miss the shot. Maps. This. Yes. This is probably going to be 15 here as well. Look at that nade on the NZ to double off the Hail Mary play from the Vikings. Gratisfaction finds the opening, and there's one of the offs out of the round already. As Ralz will swing, he'll get the advantage back. Well, I mean, he'll get the disadvantage back into his side's favor. Now, Extreme. They're trying to dodge these flashes. Ralz will peek off one and find a second kill. Burr from Sky tag down low. Ralz is good with the spam, but Bentet found a double. He's woken up with the rifle. Gratisfaction finds Dafu and Manx now alone towards mid in a 1v3. And he's going to go for it. What's happened? Yeah, he, he needs to go for it. Like, well, you go for the save. Your entire team doesn't have money. Like, you saved the open team. They're going to have what? Oh, they're going to have 10 can surely they just close it out here and now yeah. the boy isn't going to be great manx getting aggressive the trade will come in though gratisfaction has found it they're going towards b but they're going into a little bit of a stack the flash peak will come in nothing going to be spotted that is spotted now what a reaction what a play from gratisfaction as they're fighting that is, that's, that's it, it. Surely that is it. Surely that's the map over. Yenzi will find Azer. He's gonna be Molly back though. Lias will now come alive. Oh Raz, you're lucky to be alive there. But he will battle back. It's not done just yet. The nade won't actually do any damage. Bomb is planted though, a 2v3. Impossible. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Just tucked behind the smokes Yancy and Riles both tacked low of course Yancy on 63 but Riles only on 21 HP Jacob at this point is just winning time just trying to buy it out Riles is actually gonna find another so this makes it into a two versus two but the flash is perfect there's not enough time on the clock and Jacob is gonna find the double kill to end it out 16 to 6 Extremum are going through to the playoffs over a lengthy Viking